Hey, Roberto. Good evening. Mr. Roberto Suarez, good evening. How are you? Oh, it's connecting. The audio is still connecting. There's Joel. Hello, Joel. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Uh, <laughs> tonight is, is cool. It's cold. Yeah, I know. Actually, I love it when it's cold, but as my job is talking, I need to protect my throat. Oh. Otherwise, uh, believe me, I don't I don't really like sweaters nor things like this, but as I work speaking, I need to protect it. Okay. Otherwise, tomorrow I will be like, hey, hey look, <laughs> look, Roberto, he's got style. Okay, okay, just let me tell everybody that I am here already so they can connect. Give me just a second. I'm going to send a message to everybody that it is time. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Are you are you living in Soyapango? Do you live? Do you live Soyapango? No, actually I used to. Solia. Oh. My parents live in Soyapango. Okay. Right now, I'm uh, in San Martin. Yes, tell me. Okay. You you live in San Martin? Yes. Right now? Yes. And I go oh. to Chapango to visit my parents. Mm, okay, okay. Is, uh, is, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, remember you say, está lloviendo? It is raining? It is raining. You are telling me or asking me? Me dice uh, uh, Sería, um, is, is raining in your Oh, yes, home? it is raining. It is raining, mister. But it is raining just a little bit. Not strong. Ah, oh, okay. It is not strong. Some, some here. The same. Oh, the same. It is not strong, but it's constant. Okay. Well, thank you, Joel. Okay, thanks. So, Roberto, now, it's still connecting your audio, Roberto. Don't worry, don't worry. There's Ana Maria. Ana Maria is going to talk to me right now. Hello, Ana Maria. Ana Maria, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are the kids? Good. Always on you. Yes. Okay, tell me, Ana Maria, how was your day? Uh, busy. Busy. I was working all the day. All, all day. day long. All day long. Oh, really? That's nice. What time did you get home? Or you were working at home? Yes, you work at home, right? Yes, I, I, I work from home. Oh, that's terrible when you have the kids. Yes. They're always Sometimes it's difficult. They're always pulling you like, Mama, pay attention to me. Yes. <laughs> hey, tell me, what time is it bedtime for your kids? Hey. The younger goes to bed around at 7.30. Okay, the youngest. The youngest. And the, the oldest? Yes, the oldest. Okay, the oldest uh, at 10, 9 or 10 p.m. So you have a period of peace. Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. But, you know, you can sleep now. When they are little kiddos, they don't let you sleep. Yeah. 
when they yes. are tiny, they are like awake at night. And they sleep. Yes, but, but Juan Pablo uh, wake up. Uh, Todavía se despierta. Wake, wake up. Wake up. Uh, night. In two times at night. Two times. Yes, two times. Oh my God. For feeding. And no, sometimes yes, but uh, the most of the time, most of the time, uh, he always want to to stay in bed with us. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. I got an expression for you. I got an expression for you. In okay. this case, he wakes up just for kicks. Just for kicks. That means that he wakes up just because he wants to. There's not a specific reason just because he feels like, ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to go to my mom's bed just for kicks. I know that Roberto is thinking about a different expression, but no, Roberto, not yet. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Well, thank you, Ana Maria. And welcome back to the classes. Hey, thank you. Let's see, let's see. Edwin, that's a nice guitar you have there in your background. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good Hi, evening. Everybody. I'm Is sorry that... because yesterday I don't... I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I couldn't stay, stay in class. No problem, no problem. I understand that sometimes there are different... But Boy, I, I watched the video on YouTube. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. So that's an electric guitar you got there? No, it's... Um, I, I have an acoustic guitar, but really this is a, a oh, game. Oh, that's a game. Oh, yeah. nice. So you have something to have for having fun. Yeah, yeah. But the, the music is... is it's very nice for me. Oh, I can imagine, I can imagine you invest in beer. Yeah. yeah. I got an electrical one. Someday. <laughs> yeah. No, no, in my case, I have an electrical Oh, okay. Ah, nice. Yeah, it's there collecting dust. It doesn't call Banderson. Okay. Collecting dust. Remember that? Collecting dust. That's a good expression for okay. you guys. When something is there just for being there, you say that that something is collecting dust in Tolbando. <laughs> okay. Actually, I am not, I am not uh, very good at guitar. I just know a few things. I am, uh, I play the trombone, the trumpet, the sampunya. Uh, really, Sampoña is very nice. I have a kenna. Oh, really? That's cool. I could yeah. blow in a kenna. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, a, sound. A, a little difficult, but very nice sound. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, thank you, Edwin. Nice. Let's see. You're Luka, welcome. Good evening. How are you? Norma. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Norma. Hello. How are you tonight? Fine. Here with a little cold. A little bit cold? Oh. Sí. Okay, okay, okay. When you say you are a little bit cold, right? Okay. Remember, you say, we say, I am, I am, I am. cold, I am cold means Tengo frío. Uh -huh. But if we say I have a cold, that means tengo catarro. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the difference. Uh -huh. Anderson. So, what about you? Are you cold or you have a cold, Norma? Are you cold? I am cold. cold. I am cold. Perfect, perfect, excellent. So let, let's see. Thank you very much, Norma. Teacher. You're welcome. 
uh, you say I I have a cold. Yes. What is what is different between the that uh, sentences and flu? Gripe. The difference between gripe and catarro. Same. The flu is gripe. Okay. We don't say I have the flu. Usually we say I got I got the flu. I got the flu. Okay. Okay. That's the okay. way. I Thank you. Flu. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, who else is around? Mr. Presa, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How was your day, Mr. Presa? Tell me, tell me, tell me. It's, it's very relaxed and very fresh. Okay. Relax? Yeah. Relax today? Excuse me? Did you go to work today? Uh, I work in, in home. Oh, you are working at home. Yes. Very relaxed. Very relaxed here. Oh, that's Excellent. Thank you very much, Miguel. Uh, Gwen, good evening. Okay. <coughs> good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great, When Your voice sounds deep. Excuse me, teacher. I don't. Uh, no, I don't listen. I didn't. I, I didn't was. listen. <clears throat> I'm telling you that your voice sounds deep. No, no, le escucho mucho ruido. No sé quién tiene abierto el micrófono. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Um, y estoy desde el celular. No tiene el mismo son, eh, volumen. Oh, that's why. That's <clears throat> why. Yes, because the only one is you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Don't worry, Wendy. We will talk with you later. Don't worry. We are going to. Suli, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Suli? I'm cold, teacher. You are cold? Yeah. Don't you like it? I love it. Um, but I cold. Muy helado. Very cold. Yeah, it is. Very cold. But don't worry. Nothing that a little sweater doesn't help you with. Teacher, how do you say dolor de garganta? Oh, a sore throat. ¿Cómo se escribe? Like this. Sword throat. Sword throat. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you, Dutch. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Sully. I will let you be right now. Let's thank see Marilyn. Hello, Marilyn. Hi. I think you're having problems with connection, Marilyn, because I hear you like. Hi, teacher. Hi. Oh, now I hear you good. Hello. Oh, it's, it's, it's raining now. Raining. And it affects. Yes, it affects. Uh, that's the world my internet. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, uh, how are you, teacher? I'm just fine. What about you? Oh, I am cold. <laughs> You're cold? Yeah, that's yeah. normal. Everybody's a little bit cold today. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm good. It's good to have you here, Marilyn. Let's see. I got what? It is good to have you here. Es bueno tenerla acá. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Let's see. I still got time for two people. Let's see who are who am I going to talk to? Mr. Celaya, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, teacher. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, I know it's cold. That's why they they have me they have me drinking tea. 
Sofi. And did you know, they told me, they told me, drink the tea. Otherwise, you know, I get in trouble. That's the problem. You see? <laughs> it's better chocolate, teacher. No, I prefer the tea. I don't like, I don't drink chocolate. It's better tea? In my case, because I do not like chocolate. I don't okay, believe. I, I cannot drink chocolate. I mean, the beverage, the beverage for me is like uh, horrible. Teacher. Yes. No chocolate. Yeah. No pupusas. <laughs> no pupusas. No salvadoreñan. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from here, but I just oh I know, I know, I know. Okay. Well, guys, let's see. Today. It's we are... sad. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a little bit sad. For a you lot. Don't like it sad. What? <laughs> what did you say? Man? <laughs> Your life is sad. <laughs> I, no chocolate, no pupusas. <laughs> yeah, you but know. you, but you like uh, hamburgers. It's a good. Yeah. No, actually, I like a lot of stuff from here. I like, uh, I like uh, atolles, like chuco. I love it, and I like the three different ones. I like it salad. I like it uh, sweet, and I like it uh, sour. Because mm. here in El Salvador, people drink it different. Some people like it. The chocolate oh. chuco, they like it. Some people like it sweet. Some people like it salad. And some people like it sour. What do you say? Atoll? Atole. Atole. Yeah. Oh. It's Mexican. A little Mexican word. It sounds like. Okay. Okay, but you see, I like. So, it. teacher, sorry. Yes. What does it mean so? Acido. Ah, okay. Like but uh, uh, sweet, huh? Sweet, sweet is in San, in San in San Miguel. Yeah, I know. I like yeah. it. Pass it. Pass it. <laughs> I don't teacher, like it. <laughs> teacher, you tease uh, of ginger oh my tea is not ginger my tea oh, okay. is, let me see what is it for uh well herbs in this case it's herbs say the word herbs, herbs. herbs. yes exactly that's okay guys today as i was telling you we are going to work with demonstrative and demonstratives are very, very simple. It's a topic that you have already covered. And today we are going to work a little bit more with it. We're going to work with demonstrative. And to make an example, demonstratives are like, this is a pen. This is a blue pen. And these are blue pens. Those are blue pens those because they are far i cannot get them these because i can get them but let's watch first the video from the platform do you remember that i told you to check out two videos from the platform i told you yesterday uh, yes, teacher. we are yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. okay great great we are going to work with them let me see let me see where do i have it oh just give me a second guys I need to get rid of this before and also I need to get rid of this. And now we are ready for the video. So let me share with you the screen where the video is. We are going to work a lot with this video. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns this, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? 
How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's forty-two dollars. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're eighteen dollars. Prices: forty-two dollars, fifty-nine ninety-five, or fifty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four: this, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, "Is that your car? Which one?" The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Look, when we talk about the demonstratives, uh, they come with one and ones. But today we are not going to work with this. This is for tomorrow. Don't worry about that. But look at the sentence. How much is this necklace? This is used when something is near, is in your hand, or you could touch it if you want it. You could grab it. Okay? That's when you use this. And remember, it's singular. That is used for something singular, but far. Okay? Okay. Look at this one. Look at this example. How much are these earrings? In this case, as you can see, it's referring to plurals, earrings, more than one. It's plural, something that you can touch, something that is near, something that you can grab. And then you have those that is something that that it's also plural, but refer to some things that are far, okay? And that's why when you talk about singular, you have one. When you talk about plural, you got ones. But remember, one and ones we are going to work with tomorrow, okay? Now, let me see. These. How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're eight or... Fifty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four: this, these, that, those. Okay. Remember. Now, something that I want you to notice and pay attention is this. Listen. This. 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 If you notice, the sound of this is a little bit longer. This, this. This, this. Longer and stronger here, okay? You say, this is my class. These are my shoes. You see, it's a little bit longer, the sound. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often. Okay. Now remember the pronunciation. This, singular, this, this, plural, okay? This, this. You listen to the difference? Yes? Okay, okay. So, so, says Roberto. So, so, don't worry, Roberto. We're going to be making some exercises where we are going to practice. 
So don't worry. Just remember that the plural is longer. This, this. You see? It's a little bit different. I'll get it closer. This, singular. This, plural. It's longer. Stronger at the beginning. Okay? Es un poquito más fuerte al inicio. Y más largo. Okay, now. But let me get you something else that I prepare for you guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it right now? Okay, hold on. Okay, we are here. Okay, we have here our presentation. Remember, we are in class six and we are talking about demonstratives one and ones. Okay, if you notice, we have, again, this singular, okay, singular, this plural, that singular, those plural. Remember, when it is something that is near you, you use this. And remember, you use this when it's in your hand or when it's close. You could grab it if you want, okay? It's near, está cercano. You could touch it, okay? That's why this, this, you see? And remember, this, this, they are closed. I can get them. Okay? Now, let's continue. Demonstratives are used to identify or point out a particular item or items, people, things, places, animals, in reference to the speaker, okay? That's why here is near the speaker, okay? This, this. In the case of that and those, we are talking about something that is there, far from the speaker, okay? It's something that is there. Algo que está allí, allá, far. This refers to a singular noun. Person, thing, place, or animal near the speaker. And the demonstratives can be used as a pronoun or as an adjective. As a pronoun, when we say, look at the example, this is my baby. In this case, as you can notice, this is substituting a noun, sustituyendo un nombre, okay? This is my baby. In this case, in the second case, it's working as an adjective. It is next to a noun. Está al lado de un nombre, okay? This car is pink. You see the difference? In this case, it is the subject. In, is, in this case, it's next to the subject. That, that refers to a singular noun, person, thing, place, or animal. Far away from the speaker. Look, it's far away from the speaker. That is our dog over there, over there, por allá. Look at the other example. That bus is full. This refers to a plural nouns, people, things, places, or animals near the speaker. An example, these are not my kids. These books are interesting. Those refers to plural nouns, people, things, places or animals far away from the speaker. An example, those are workers on strike over there. Do you know this word? Workers on a strike means en huelga. 
those people are angry. So let's see, let's see, let's see who is going to help me. Hold on just a second, guys. Just give me a second. I need to fix this little thing so it can fit here and not be an obstacle for you to see. Let's see, Ana Maria. Ana Maria, tell me what goes here? These, that, those, these. Singular, these. Okay, what about here? These. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's see. Uh, Mr. Beaches, tell me. What goes here? Singular far. He didn't hear me? Yes. Yes, no. Yes, okay. uh, Is that? What about here? That, those. Let's check it out. Okay. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Excellent. But now we are going to do something different. Thank you, Mr. Ho. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Wendy, which one goes here? Look at the hand. Look at the distance. Those. Plural. Okay, let's check it out. Great. Excellent. Now, please. Would you mind reading the whole sentence? Uh, <clears throat> those are Rebecca's driving pins. Drawing. Drawing. Drawing pins. Drawing pins. Thank Perfect. you. Teacher. Thank you. Now, now, next is for, let's see, Betsaida. Betsaida, you have been very quiet. Hi, teacher. What is the correct um, option? And this? You mean this one? Uh, um, or this one? This one. Uh, Remember. Uh, I think the I think is the. This one or this one? This no, or this? Uh, this, 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 this. Yes. Perfect. Now, <laughs> read the whole sentence. This is my mother's favorite bag. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see, Mr. Celaya. Hello, Mr. Celaya. This is for you. Hold on. That. Okay, let's see. Great, excellent. Please read the whole sentence. That is wearing what I use. That is, remember, remember, remember. Let's stop just for a second, guys. Remember, I, I am pushing this exercise a lot because I want you to, to get better in pronunciation, okay? And let me share with you this, and right now this. Remember that in this case here, we are going to pronounce this as an R. What are we going to pronounce like that? The letter T. And we make it together, that is, that is, okay? Okay, teacher. So, let's see. Please, mister, read again the sentence. That is the watering can I use. Perfect. The watering can, it's this object. This object is called a watering can. Remember that water is the verb regar, okay? You water the plants. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Now, Mr. Calderon. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Here you go. Tell me, which is the, the one we need here to fill this space? Is those. Those. Are yes. Are? Those are the apples I picked up last Monday. Let's look. Uh uh another try. Ah, uh, it is, it is. Okay. It is because it's it's close. Yes, yes. it's near it's, it's close. Please read it. These are the apples I picked up last Monday. Okay, now remember it was perfect. Just remember when you have E D after K, you pronounce the E D as a T. I picked. I picked last Monday, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue. Let's see, this is for um, Jamie. Jamie, this is for you. This. Okay. Singular or plural? Singular. Say the whole sentence, please. This is John's brown belt. Perfect. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Now, let's see. We still got more. We still got more. Let's see who's going to participate. Uh... Urania, this is for you. Um, those. Read the sentence, please. Those are my sister books. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. This one is for Norma. Norma, tell me, please, which is the correct one? Okay. Um down is, is far. It's um, far. That, that. That. Excellent. Read the whole sentence, please. That is the ring I got from Rose. That is, remember, that is. Okay, that is the K ring right, okay. I got you from Rose. You pronounce it as one, key ring, key ring. That is the key ring. What is the caring I got from Ross? Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And let's see, Suli, where are you, Suli? Please help me out. Teacher, uh, one the question. Uh, excuse me. There. What different the this and those? This is and those. Like this, look. These blue pens, this? these blue pens are mine. As you can see, I can touch them. I have them in my hand. Los tengo en mi mano, los puedo tocar. Okay. If I want, I can grab them. Si lo deseo, los puedo tomar fácilmente. Están okay. en mi casa, cerca. These. Um. Oh, those blue pens are mine. I cannot touch them, you see? They are far. Ah, okay. 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 Perfect. Bye. Let's continue. Let's continue. So, please tell me which is the correct. Okay. And this is my brother's scooter. Okay. Let's see. Perfect, Suli. <laughs> Excellent. Now, let's see. Let's see who's going to help me with this. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, Marilyn, please, Marilyn. Hi, teacher. Please, tell me out. Teacher. Yes, tell me, which is the correct one? Hi. Can you see the... Um, is it plural? Okay. Is it plural, true? This or those? 
Um, is it near or far? <laughs> it's far. Far. Yes. And those is yes, those. Those. Okay. Those teacher. Say the sentence. Diga la oración. I I can look in the, okay, the picture. Work. The sentence says yes, teacher. Those are Hilda's new keys. Those are Hilda's. Hilda's new skis. New skis. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's see. Yeah. Oh, can you activate your microphone? Hello, Roberto. Hello, hello. Okay, Roberto, tell me, which is the correct one? This. Perfect. Say the whole sentence, please. These are my old building's blocks. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. So, remember, as I told you, this, singular. This, plural. That, singular. Those, plurals. Now, let's see. Mr. Joel, would you mind opening up your microphone? Okay, me? Yes. Tell me, Joel, what is this? Uh, that is a scarf. Perfect. What is this? That is a tie. Okay. Tell me. What is this? That is a jacket. Perfect. Or, or suit. Okay. Well, actually, it's a jacket. It's different. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. It's different if I get like this, because look, they match. I ask you, uh, okay. like it is. oh, that is a suit. It's different. A uh, suit, okay, it's that different, is, okay. I was just showing you the, the, the jacket. It was, oh, that is a jacket, okay? Now let's Perfect. see. Perfect, okay. What are these? Those are markers. Perfect, excellent. Now, that was Thank an you. example of the activity we are going to do. For the activity, I'm going to divide you in pairs. You need to activate your cameras because you are going to show, you are going to pick like objects that are around yourself, four objects, and you are going to ask your classmates. What are going to be the questions? The questions are going to be very simple, okay? The questions are, are going to be these ones. Look, you are going to ask, what is this? And you are going to ask, what are these? Okay, those are the two questions for the activity. What is this and what are these? Okay, guys, ready for the activity? In the case of, I think there's, I have one or two persons that cannot activate the camera, they need to answer, okay? But the rest of you, I know that the rest of you can activate your camera, so I'm going to divide you and let's do the exercise right now. Any question before I send you to the groups? No questions? Okay, perfect. I have a question. Yes. In the case I use glasses, is plural or singular? Look, glasses is plural. Pants, it's plural. Okay? Okay. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Hey. Increíble, ya me vieron dos. I think they were busy. Okay, guys, jump in. Three minutes, three minutes. Hurry up. Miguel, can you get in the group? Hello, mister. Nobody else here? Nadie más por acá? No. Okay, don't worry, don't Just worry. Only. I'm going to get out and send you to another group, okay? Okay. Driver, okay. Okay. Uh, what are these? Driver. Ah, uh, those, <laughs> those are. Uh, what are these? Those are. Those are. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Okay, hey. mejor. The, uh, that is a makeup. Oh, it's uh, a plural. plural. It's yes. Those uh, makeup. Yes. Shades. Uh, Shades. What? Shades. Hi, teacher. Shades. You can write a uh, greeting in the chat. Okay, hold on. Please. Chase. Oh, sombras. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Only in the oh, here. A makeup. Or I can make it. I can say makeup. No, because makeup is singular. It requires. Uh, a word that involves the whole group. If okay, you okay. About a blush, lipstick, eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. 
who is going to starve? Because here you are not going to work with the person you were in the group, okay? You're going to work with somebody else. So let's see, uh, Jamie. You are going to start asking the questions to Mr. Edwin Cruz. Okay. Mr. Elvin Cruz. Hi. Hi. What are these? Those uh, are uh, glasses. Yes. Hey. Another? What is this? Cruz. <laughs> you need to okay. The, that is a pen. Perfect. Jamie? Edwin, yeah. choose who is going to be your victim. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody have cold. Oh, Wendy. <laughs> um, Sully. Sully, okay. Sully. Ask Sully, please. Sully, what is this? Uh -huh. This is calculadora. That is. That, that is. A that is a calculadora. Calculator. Calculator. Another one, please, Edwin. Okay. Sully, what are these? There's, there's a um, Marker. marcador. Markers. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sully. Now, You're welcome. let's see, Betsaida. Hello, Betsaida. Activate your microphone, Betsaida. I cannot hear you. Okay, now we are going to go to, let's see, Betsaida. You are going to ask Mr. Joel Beaches. Okay. Um, what is this? That is a book. Yes. And <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, those are glasses. Okay, yes. perfect. Excellent. Um, Excellent, Joel. Just remember, Betsaida, when you are with the plural, it's not what is, what are. Okay? What, oh, are, what, these? Are, okay. what are these? And just what are is... these are glasses. Okay? Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Next one, next one, next one. Mr. Celaya, please ask sure. Urania. Urania, what is what? Those are things. Uh, market? Pens. Pens? Uh, yes. Those are pens. What is? Uh, that is a ruler. A ruler. 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 Ruler? Yes. Ruler. 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 Okay, good. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. Thank you, Rania. Now, let's see. Norma, please. Okay. Ask Roberto. Okay. Roberto, what are, what are these? Okay. You can see. Ah. Uh, those are a uh, key. Keys. Perfect. Excellent. One more. One more, Norma. Okay. What is this? This is a uh, no. That that is a pencil. Is that a pencil? Oh yeah, it's a pencil. Pencil. A pencil. pencil. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's see. Um, 
Okay, let's see who who's gonna be. Merlin, please ask Mr. Joel Trigueros. Hi. Marilyn, Hi, teacher. I can hear you. Me escucha. Yes, I can hear you, Joel. Marilyn, I mm. can hear you. Microphone. Mm. Yes. Hi. Is it me? Yes. Now we can, Marilyn. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is this, Joel? Joel, what is this? Um, this that is case. Okay, remember, look at the question. The question was, what is this? She's showing you what one. Is you say that is a key. One. Or that is one key, okay? Now, what is this one? Next question, Marilyn. <laughs> what is this? This, this, um, this that, one. That is. That is. Stay with me, Joel. That is a pencil. That is a pencil. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's see who has not participated. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Urania, please ask the questions to Mr. Christian Calderon. Okay. Oh. Um. What is this? That is a, uh, I don't know how, how can I say? Look in the chat, look in the chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look in the chat. That is a four. Perfect. Okay. What are these? Those, this, this. What are these? Those, those are jewelry. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know if they are bracelets or necklaces. Bracelet. Necklace. Yeah, Necklace. Necklace. Okay. My guy, Shurania, you are a uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Christian, when you say jewelry, when you say the word jewelry, yeah, happens the same when you say the word makeup. That word, oh, okay. those words involve the whole universe of things. Okay. But jewelry. Okay. This is a piece of jewelry. Esto es una pieza de joyería. Jewelry mm -hmm. is singular because it involves a group. Okay. Yeah. What happens with makeup. I don't know who was showing makeup. I guess Marilyn was showing makeup, a piece of makeup. But when you say makeup, you are referring to, I told her, you are referring to uh, blush, uh, lipstick, eyeliner, everything, everything together. Mm -hmm. The same happens with uh, furniture. Furniture is another word like that. It involves the whole universe. It's mm -hmm. uncountable, okay? Jewelry, makeup, furniture, fruits. Those words are uncountable because they refer to a group, okay, to the whole group. They are expressed in English as a singular, okay? And they are uncountable. Okay, guys, it was a very okay. interesting activity. Thank you, Christian, and thank you, Urania. My gosh, Urania, you are bad. You really choose your victim. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Who didn't participate? Everybody participated? Todos participaron? Not too many of you. I'm sorry if I forgot somebody. Some Not teacher. Who didn't? You, Wendy? 
<coughs> no, no participé. <laughs> problem, Wendy, no problem, no problem. Okay, Wendy, tell me, what are these? Oh, this is, no, that is, go. That, oh, Lura. it's true. Lura. Oh, no sé cómo se dice eso, teacher, I don't, I don't know. Okay, there's a difference. There are earphones. Earphones. Go in. But in this case, this come on top of my head. So okay. in this case, they are, they are headphones. Okay. Headphones. Yes. Tell me, please. Do, those, those are headphones. Headphones. Okay. What about this? What is this? What is this? I don't see. This thing right here? Can you see? Ah, the, uh, that is a tie. Perfect. Now, what is this? Mm, that, uh, that is a... Anillo. I don't remember, teacher. Anillo. Lord of the... Ring, yes. <laughs> actually, actually, this is a... You know, but... That's something different. That's another story. That is a ring. Okay. Okay. Hey, guys. It was a very interesting class. I like it. I like it. You participated in it. I expect to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much because, believe it or not, time's up. The time flies today. So, tomorrow, please, we need to practice in the, from the platform. Let me tell you. I need you to practice, please. Check out 3.6, exercise 3.6 and 3.8. That's for tomorrow, okay? We are going to be working on that. Thank you very much to you. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.